Now that the gameplay's locked in, let's make it shine. Theming your level is just as important as the gameplay itself. A strong theme makes your island feel more immersive and engaging. To build your theme, you'll use props and galleries that are already available in Fortnite. So, what's a prop? It's an object you place in your world. Furniture, walls, trees, shelves, basically anything that makes your island feel alive. Props come from two main places, prefabs, which are ready-made structures, and galleries, which are large groups of themed props. We'll use Fortnite assets that come with UEFN for this series, but you can always use Fab, a marketplace to find user-made assets for your island. For this project, we'll use the Mega Mall Gallery. You can find it in the content browser or while you're editing in Fortnite Creative. To access it in Creative, launch a test session. Like you learned in the last video, this opens a Fortnite Creative client, and it links it to your live session in UEFN. This way, you can use Fortnite Creative to build your island and see your changes back in UEFN. Working like this is great to see the scale of your island and how players will perceive your work, so it is a great tool to have in your belt. Now, press M to open the Creative menu, then select Galleries. Browse the gallery and grab a floor, wall, and half wall that fits your vibe. Double-click to add them to your quick bar or just click Equip. When you're ready, exit back to your island. Now, let's build the framework. Start by laying down your floors and walls in a 3x3 square. Add a half wall near your barrier to designate the target area. Then, pop on the outer walls, a roof, and a door to complete the room. Nice work! The basic set is ready for some flair. This is where we add even more personality to your level. Set dressing is all about adding fun little details that support your game's look and feel. Luckily, UEFN has tons of assets to help with that. In the content browser, go to the Props folder under Fortnite and search for Toys. Drag the Commerce Shelf Toys 2 prop into your level and place it. Then, duplicate it around your shooting gallery. Next, search for Princess Toy and drop in the Princess Castle Toy Bunny. Scatter a few along the walls. They make great prize displays for your carnival vibe. Now, let's bring your gallery to life with sound. Audio design does more than just make your game feel immersive and dynamic. It can provide feedback cues to players based on what they're doing, giving you a clear way to communicate information to the players, like if they've hit their target or the innocent fluffy decoy. In UEFN, a sound cue is a flexible audio file. It can loop, fade, or change depending on what's happening in your level. Open the Sounds folder in the Content Browser under Fortnite. Hover over a sound cue and press the Play icon to preview it. To add sound effects to your level, drag the audio player device into the viewport from the Content Browser. With the audio player selected, go to the Details panel. Type in the name of the sound cue. Use Fairground Spot 11 for this one. Then, tweak these settings. Uncheck Play on Hit. Set Play Location to Local Player. Set Stereo Spread to 2.0. Last step, let's make the sound start automatically when the player spawns with Direct Event Binding. In the Details panel, find the Play function and click the Array dropdown. Add the Player Spawn pad, then choose On Player Spawn from the second menu. Now, if you head into a playtest, your audio will kick in as soon as the player appears. And just like that, you've built a complete, fully functional shooting gallery using UEFN, Fortnite Creative, and Verse. There's just one more step left on your journey, publishing your island through the Creator Portal. Let's make it official.